A silent film is a film with no synchronized recorded sound, especially with no dialogue. What is an emotion? It is a strong feeling from one's circumstances, mood or relationship with others. It can be instinctive or intuitive. Have you ever wondered about the power of your silence? Have you ever tried talking through your eyes. If you have, you will know how much our eyes can express and how much a gesture can speak. Nonverbal communication is out of this world. Be it in films or real life, a bit of nonverbal calculations always adds flavor to the conversation and is the basis of a silent film. There are many nonverbal ways to emote and there is no rule book to it, but merely a sense of judgment of the situation and the will to emote can create wonderful conversations. There is an extensive use of organs such as hands, legs, head, along with varied emoting uses of our eyes, eyebrows, ears, and anything to everything that forms part of gestures and the body language. When it comes to emotions, the best way is to feel. Open up and let it run through you. If you close the portal of feelings, you will look empty. If you do not fill it in your stomach, the audience will see through you. Here are a few images, and I would like you all to participate in this exercise. You will start from your left, from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, my left actually, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at the image that you see. Ponder, what do you see? What do the eyes tell you? It would be nice if you wrote whatever it is that you thought, that you saw, and we'll talk about it at the end. The earliest American films, which appeared around 1895, were primarily a working class pastime. Because they told stories without words, they appealed to the large, mostly illiterate immigrant population in the United States. 
After the 1900s, film became a more middle-class phenomenon as filmmakers exploited film storytelling by adapting bourgeois novels. This incorporated rich middle-class values. Because there is so much to learn and time isn't smiling at us, I will leave room for you to do some research in your spare time. And when you do, look up the following silent actors. Greta Garbo. Um, in 2001, Michelle Hazanificius directed a movie called The Artist. And it was, it did win an award. It was a silent film. It was a pastiche of a monochrome Hollywood movie of the 20s and has created a welcome new interest in the silent cinema. For Greta Garbo, the camera loved her. She made 10 silent films in five years, the greatest being Flesh and the Devil in 1926. Max Linder, a French comedian, turned to the cinema in 1905, creating the first widely popular comic character, Max, an aristocratic skirt-chasing boulevardier. He was much admired by Chaplin, who gave him a photograph signed to Max the Professor from his disciple, Charles Chaplin. Seriously wounded in the Great War, he suffered from depression and experienced failure in the US. But in the early 20s, and with Chaplin's help, he made two classics in Hollywood. He killed himself in Paris. He was age 41. I'm sure all of you know this one, Charlie Chaplin. Following a, De a Dickensian working class childhood in London, Chaplin became a music hall star before finding overnight success in 1914, that's the Second World War, as an inventive director star in Hollywood. His Trump persona, bowler hat, baggy trousers, outsized boots, mustache, funny walk, made him the most famous man who ever lived and one of the richest. Charlie Chaplin was inspired by a deaf man, Redmond Granville, who taught him sign language and finger spelling. Charlie Chaplin was the only filmmaker who was able to ignore the coming of sound in film. He was a complex genius and he was among the greatest artists of all time. Or rather, he is actually one of the greatest artists of all time. And these are a few more. There is so much to read and learn from this era. So it is my recommendation that you invest your time wisely in research. You can read about Douglas Fairbanks, himself, Chaplin, and his second wife, Mary Pickford, created United Artists. 
and they gave rise to the joke, the lunatics have taken over the asylum. Should make for great reading. I have so much for you to do, so many recordings. So meet your facilitator and he'll hand you all the exercises you have to do.